a Paul, that feels like a very important win. What did you make of today? Yeah, it was a game, obviously, <clears throat> neither team wanted to lose. It was a tight game. Uh, I didn't think there was a lot in it. I thought Joe made two really good saves. We probably didn't have enough impetus. Um, and it was a bit, obviously, a blow. We had a few um, issues. Uh, obviously, I've made four subs before the 45th minute. So that's, um, sorry, at half time included. So, you know, some were in four, some weren't. So, um but uh, to win the game's great, and I always say to the lads, I've just said it to him there, look, you know, there's times in the game you can bend, don't break. You've got to be under pressure. You've got to have to withstand pressure. You've got to have to defend the box really well. And obviously the last seven minutes, Cash, Foz um, and Nels especially, won headers that um, kept us a clean sheet that enabled us to win. So I was really proud with that. And as I'm really proud of the fact that look, in tight games like that, and I said this last season and a bit this season, Sometimes it's just a set-piece goal that wins it. Uh, and Kane has been a thorn in my um, rear for a couple of weeks because when we do set-pieces on a Friday, he's in the reserves, so to speak, or the game changes, and he kept scoring and causing absolute havoc. So he's a bit of a maverick, and for him to score is good. And you know, I thought he came on and had a really good impact, as did Tomo, by the way. I thought Tomo was really good. And Corey came on 70 minutes. Foz hasn't played for... Uh, seems like three seasons, but he came in and looked uh, really assured. So overall, really pleased. We could play better, obviously, but I ain't bothered about that. I'm not going to pick the bones out of that at the moment. I'm really proud of how hard the lads work for each other. We had JJ up, you know, from London today to come and support the lads. There's the whole dressing room is buzzing of injured players. Little Colo buzzing, got him on the bounce. Bless him. He got the crowd going. So all in all, really proud of the group. You know, I love the group and and. To win a game like that against a very good team, uh, really pleased. You mentioned the changes that you made. Can you just talk us through what was tactical and, and what wasn't? Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Well, obviously, um, uh, the first one wasn't because he, he felt his hamstring, Dwight did, so that's uh, not a good sign. Then it just felt, obviously, we changed our shape. Then we put another midfielder in because we couldn't really get a grip and I thought we looked OK. And then it was just the thought of, like, Sheehan is probably there standout player probably the standout player in the game for them especially so uh, I just thought we just need a bit more legs with uh, Tomo because that's Tomo and I thought Tomo held the ball really well but you know players have different things and some players you need it for this game some for that and it, today it just felt like we just need a bit more legs so I brought him on uh, but Tom and um, Tom tightened up calf um, which is disappointing and so did Wardy I think Wardy's more precautionary um, but I think Tom's more injury, so which is a blow if we've lost Dwight and Tom today. But um, it always seems to be the thing we, you know, every <laughs> every bit of sunshine seems to have a little bit of a cloud. So that's the cloud today. But we'll assess them obviously on Monday and, and see where we're at. You made a comment to us. I'm not sure if it was Monday or if it was ahead of this game about Craig Forsyth being sort of the perfect man to bring in because he knows what it's like to play at Pride Park in front of that sort of crowd, and, and he was excellent for you today. Yeah, really good. Uh, and I thought the crowd were really good. I mean, I don't know if um, I've been moaned earlier in the week about the severe lack of flags at this place. And then I came out and went to Richie like, da -da, look, there's flags everywhere. I'm going to start moaning about other things. But uh, so it just felt like a, you know, a proper football stadium full of life. And I said to the lads before the game, look, just enjoy it. Like, you know, give me your job lot. And if they're better than us, fair play. I won't moan about it. You know, it's just a proper game with two very good teams, two very good set of supporters trying to get their team going. So it felt like a proper game. And obviously Foz can play here, you know, with full houses. It doesn't phase him at all. And if any player you could just, you know, drag and drop, he's the ideal one. He doesn't get stressed about anything. I don't even think his heart rate ever gets over 50. So he's always very relaxed and he's the perfect fit for us. So, yeah, so just felt a really good game and it's just nice to score. A nil-nil I don't think would have been befitting the tension of the game. But for us to score and then for seven minutes to go up and obviously the, and you know some genius in the stands will somewhere sit and go, oh, why are they sitting back? You, you just can't get out. They just pin you in because they're going for it like we've done with games where we've been behind and every throw-in's coming in and every... But the way the lads defended uh, made me really proud. So, yeah, really good day. Uh, happy with uh, the performances. The only slight disappointment is the injuries, obviously. Seven games to go. How long do you enjoy this before you've refocused for, for what's to come? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy it for a couple of days. I'm going home to pick my mum up tomorrow to bring her up for my daughter's 18th birthday. So that would be a nice drive home with her tomorrow because I don't like her telling me off about how tactically we got it wrong. So I'll enjoy it tomorrow. Um, 
And then obviously when we come back in Monday, all our focus is on the next game. But it's nice not to have a Tuesday game. It's just, you know, I've said it loads of times. I'm not trying to be too critical of our group. I love them, but we are the oldest squad in the league. So three games in a week is tough for us. And uh, unfortunately, you know, that was evident again today. So the, the fact that we can have a week of feeling good about ourselves, really trying to get some more back, trying to get some more training in wash um, uh, will be good. Um, yeah, and then we... Um, revisit the sort of tactical element of it come um, Monday morning at nine o'clock.